Seventh fight of the evening in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner with one win and no loss. Fighting out of Team Quest to Mecula, California. Here is Chris the Crusher Herrera. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner with three wins and three losses. Fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Shane Johnson. A referee in charge, Dr. John Quinn. My stretches at all times, defend yourself at all times. If I say stop, you stop. You understand? Any questions? Any questions? Touch gloves? Call on the show. You hear the referee, Dr. John Quinn, instructing the guys to put on a show. I like that. Would be surprised if we see anything different from these two. Chris Herrera again wearing the brown trunks. Shane Johnson is wearing the black and the green. Team Quest in the brown tonight. Extreme Couture in the black and the green. Inside leg kick to start things off from Shane Johnson. Shane Johnson, a high energy fighter. Yeah, light on his feet too. He remained that way for all three rounds in his last fight. Good cardio, nice pace. See Chris Herrera, a little bit more compact frame, striking a little bit lower stance right now. And planting a little bit more when he throws those strikes. Right hand sneaks through a little bit, pushes the head back of Shane Johnson. Johnson, though, with those jabs. Just see him mix it up a little bit, throw a lot of those jabs, and then put some combinations together. Oh, boy, big right hand from Herrera. Yeah, Herrera throwing those wild, looping shots. Looks like he thought about maybe a takedown there briefly. And Herrera looks like he's got some power behind those punches. Like you said, Johnson is very light on his feet. He moves around creates angles, creates space, but there's something to be said for Herrera sitting down on those punches and really throwing them with force. Yeah, Johnson looking for his opening, hard to find in the compact where Oh, oh boy. that's going to be it. There were those powerful hooks, and Chris Herrera waited, picked his shot, and launched into it, and Shane Johnson is out. Out cold right now. The doctors rush in to make sure that he's okay. But yeah, he got stone cold KO'd by Chris the Hitman Herrera, representing Team Quest tonight. And boy, what a knockout that was. Shane Johnson, like we said in his last fight, looked so good, light on his feet, nice head movement. If you're mentioning those angles, but here, look at this. There's just nothing you can do about that when you get caught by a huge power shot. Referee stepping in very alertly waving off the action as soon as he could because Johnson was out cold. Yeah, big one-two really did the damage. Ironic, both guys were a little tentative. They were picking their spots, and here was the big damage done. The early left-right did it. A another left graze, but I think at that point, Shane Johnson was already out. And ironic that it came just moments after Dr. John Quinn had urged the guys to come on. Let's see a little bit of action. Uh, they were a little bit tentative. I think uh, Shane Johnson was very aware of Chris Herrera's power, did not want to step into it. He was trying to create angles, trying to create some room on the outside, and it just didn't happen. We were talking about the power of Chris Herrera, and he certainly sat down on that three-punch combination and delivered it right to the chin. Taking a look at it from the other side here, Herrera just comes and goes to the body, left, right, left, and that final left, I think, is probably the one that actually put him away. Uh, you know, through and through, <laughs> there, was, there were two or three punches that could have easily put him out, but that left landed right on the jaw, and it's probably the one that put him down. Shane Johnson back to his feet. Yeah, those two right hands at the very end probably didn't help either, but Chris Herrera did a good job of setting that up. He threw to the body to get the hands to drop, and then came back up top and did the damage. Yeah, it looks like that was the strategy throughout, and it worked for him. Nicely done. I don't think that Shane Johnson necessarily did anything wrong in that fight. Chris Herrera just did everything right. See Johnson talking to his corner there going, up. Oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, rats. <laughs> I didn't win. No? <laughs> you sure? Ah. I'm going to have to see the tape. I don't believe you. Yeah, let's take a look at that replay one more time. Big power shots from Herrera, and he used the strategy throughout the entire fight. He was going to the body, and then he was going up high. Johnson did a nice job avoiding it while he can, but then we saw the, uh, the fight get pushed up against the cage, and uh, that was the end for Shane Johnson. There it is. Shot to the body, big left, big right, that big left there on the end, and Johnson just crumples. A couple of more little shots before the referee can get in. 
very well done by Chris Herrera. Let's get the official announcement from our ring announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after a minute 12 into the first round, your winner by KO, the blue corner, Chris the Crusher Herrera.